Hello again, SG Beers. I'm Companion Wolf. Welcome to another Smile Game Builder tutorial. Have you ever fancied a nice background image in your menus? Perhaps with some accompanying background music? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can, you can do this with the default menu that comes with SGB. The so first thing is first, a huge thank you to all my subscribers for helping me reach the big 1k. It means a lot to me. It really does. This channel is and has been for a long time quite small, quite niche. And this gives me the incentive to continue and continue I will. But um, making this channel go in a new direction, including a more bite-sized SGB tutorials and gameplay videos for a while. Starting with the first gameplay video of Paladin Dream very, very soon, which I've been looking forward to playing for quite some time, ever since I was kind enough to be given a key. The basic idea behind this tutorial is to display a background image and then play some background music when the menu is displayed. This th There was a question in the SGB Discord server about this, so I decided to experiment and see how it could be done. Because of the way SGB often interprets and processes some event commands, the method I'm going to show you works. It just works and requires a lot of workarounds. Now, as many of you know by now, the first thing I do is to create an event that will constantly check certain variables such as key presses in the background while the game is running. I've mentioned it many times in my tutorials, so I'll only touch upon it here because the only one we are going to need for this tutorial is this one. The variable that is assigned to the cancel key, which can be used to call the SGB's uh, the main default menu, X or escape at the keyboard or B on the gamepad. And it is an advanced variable box, the usual thing, refer to my other videos. We'll create a new common event and name it um, called BG menu. This is an auto start synchronized repeated. Now in its simplest form, it'll be a checkbox, check variable box to make sure that the cancel key is equals to two. The two value is for the instant the cancel key is pressed so that the menu will appear if it's not disabled for whatever reason elsewhere. Let's do it this way. Under yes, we'll display an image. Uh, I don't know, something like um, I rather like that one, or maybe that one. Use the title mural. I would recommend using image zero uh, for this, as this is the lowest layer, and everything on top of this will stack on top of this. So mm -hmm. under no, we will then delete the displayed image. So if we now play test this, we pull the menu. Uh, it 
doesn't work, at least properly. So why does this happen? It's because SGB can be an illogical beast at times. It tries to go through things in order and in sequence, following the rule that all auto-running events, wherever they are, will take priority, which invariably causes these kinds of bugs and conflicts, and things not working right, and auto-running events overlapping or cancelling each other out. So with that in mind, you really need to generally approach this by thinking with a logically illogical mindset. The solution here, in this case, therefore, is to just copy this cancel from here to here, right above. The, vari the variable checkbox that we created. Of course, if you are not having an auto running, a separate auto running variable check, then you don't really have to worry about this conflict. So that will work adequately. For now, turn the volume off a little, put it a little down, because it's, I feel like I'm going to shout. Anyway, now what if you wanted to give the background a nice fade-in, fade-out effect? It would be rather simple, right? So, logically, you would think that fade in and the display and fade out and the delete image would work. Play testing it again and it works. And then it doesn't. It'll work for a few times, usually just once, but then it'll stop working altogether. And this doesn't have anything to do with the routines themselves, because they are correct. It's all correct. It has everything to do with the way that SGB interprets and processes it all, as I mentioned previously. So, how can we fix this? Um, the only way that I have found, you can make sure that the background fades properly in when the menu opens and fades out when it's closed is by adding a loop. First we will cut this delete displayed image, we'll paste it soon and then immediately after the display image add the loop Now, within this loop, we're going to add another check variable box. Once again, checking if the cancel key value is equals to 2. Then if under, uh, then under yes, we will paste the deleted image, and then we will add a escape loop. Okay, so when this is play tested once more, it'll fade in, and then fade out quite pleasant. Now, here's a caveat, something to note. Is, is if you press cancel key too quickly, you'll do too quickly in succession, succession. The background image won't display, or at least it won't display all the time. This is because SGB can't keep up and skips through in confusion. Most players aren't going to do this 
though, so it should be good. But it's something to bear in mind in case they do. There really isn't a solution for this. Now, how about some exclusive background music for the menu? Once again, logically, we would place uh, let's see, we, we would place uh, play background music and let's have this one because this is a bit more dramatic and then underneath the display image or right after it and then we would display and um, we would add another one that is set to nothing or music set for battle and map. Let's use that one. And you think that this would act and you think that this would work. So quick play test. And it doesn't. As you can see, that won't work. Some common events seem to take priority over others, it seems, or don't quite conform to the correct timing, as with BGM. So SGB won't follow that logical sequence by itself. The workaround, which in my opinion is an effective one, but not an efficient one, is this. Just delete the play music both ends so this workaround is to add another event um, let's call this one play menu background music which once again is an auto start synchronize and repeat now in the event details we're going to add a check event branch focused um okay wait a minute back back pedal back back pedal i forgot this crucial step so Anyway, in back in our call background menu, we're going to add a switch. And this switch will be, in my case, menu number two, menu BGM. The position, as long as you have the switch, it should be good. And this would be on so that means if it's on play the music as you'll see, we'll see in a moment and select whatever tune you want when your menu is displayed we we place this before the displayed image instantly and then in order to turn it off we will place it after the delete displayed image so now we go back into the play menu background common event and here we will simply add a check event switch where if the menu bgm is on this is where we're going to add the music uh it was last boss And if it is off, can either select it to, uh, you can either set it to nothing if you want to turn off the, the music completely, or set it to music set for use on the map. Now, if we play test this again, music will change, background will fade in, fade out, and go back to back to normal. And the same thing appears before, by the way. If you press it too quickly, it'll mess things up. The next problem 
we'll encounter is that since SGB constantly scans for if and when the cancel key is pressed, and since that's the default key for calling the menu, this will result in some undesired effects, like accidentally pressing the cancel key during cutscenes and the menu appearing when you don't want it to. So we need to create and activate a toggle menu switch for turning it off when we don't want it and back on when we do want it. So going back into the variables common event, I mean, this is, this is an optional step on the first page, which will run once we can turn uh, the a toggle menu switch on or off, depending on when you want it to start right at the beginning. You can ignore this step if you're not really interested in that. But then when you're doing it on the uh, constantly check one right here, we will need to add a check event switch branch where if toggle menu is on, make the menu enable. If not, disable the menu. This will become really important a bit later on. Back into call BGM menu, common event, and then select and cut everything in this event detail. It'll all be made clear shortly. So now we will add a check event switch toggle menu when on. And then we paste little routine there. Now the final step is to make sure that it's turned on or off accordingly. I want to appear uh, for the menu. Now in this case, just add a door link and when you open the door to enter the house, you can toggle the menu off and likewise in the house, you can use the door to toggle the menu back on so that when you enter the house, it menu will not appear. And let's play test this. So that works fine. It's turned on for the outside map. And then it's actually pressing the key here and it doesn't do anything. So we go back outside. And the menu will appear again, as it should, fading in with the image, changing the music, and fading out when you exit. And that is it for another SGB tutorial. I hope you found this one useful. If you did, please subscribe, click to the, the bell icon to be notified of when I upload a new video. Follow me on social media, donate if you want to. It helps this channel and it helps it and my websites grow. As I've stated already, I'm slowly migrating away from SGB altogether to focus on other projects, but I will still continue to support SGB, Smileboom, and the Discord community at large. In the meantime, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.